Oliver Owl had been working all night to wit and to wooing until it was light. But now with the dawn, he flew back to the farm where he lived on a beam high up in a barn. In his warm, cozy corner, he fluffed himself up and soon his huge eyes were beginning to shut. Cock-a-diddle-doo! came a clamorous crow. Get up and let's go! Oliver squawked a to wit and to what and fell from his beam. It hurt quite a lot. It was Reggie the rooster, strutting his stuff, waking the chickens to show he was tough. Get up, let's go! That's right, I mean you! Time to work out! Cock-a-doodle, you too! Oliver Owl staggered into the light. What a row, what a noise, this can't be right. Keep quiet, he hooted. With the hours I keep, I need peace in the day. So please let me sleep. But Reggie responded, I work in the day. Cock-a-doodle to you, silly owl, fly away. If you keep me awake in the day, said the owl, then I'll keep you awake in the night, stupid fowl. I'll crow all I want. It's you who are rude for calling me stupid in front of my brood. And that was the start of a terrible din, as neither the rooster nor the owl would give in. From dawn until dusk, cock-a-doodle-doo! From dusk till dawn, to wit and to woo! One night, when the chickens were silently sleeping, Oliver Owl came quietly creeping. Then all of a sudden, he rattled the locks, then shouted out, Hi, are you in? I'm a fox! <laughs> Reggie the rooster came flapping outside. Oliver hooted and laughed till he cried. Soon things had spiraled out of control. Rooster knocked Owl off his perch with a pole. And so it went on, every day and all night. Each woke the other with fright after fright. By the end of a week, they were both bleary-eyed. The doodles were weak, and the hoots had all dried. At dawn, the hens found them, asleep side by side, both snoring loudly, their mouths open wide. Enough is enough, clucked the hens to the pair. To fight is not bright. You should both learn to share. Get yourself sorted and give us a break. Big birds should know how to give and to take. Rooster and Owl had had enough too. They knew they'd been silly, but what should they do? <sighs> Suppose, yawned the rooster, I crow early instead and wake up the chickens just before you're in bed. Yes, yawned the owl. And maybe at dawn, I could cook us a supper. Do you fancy some corn? I do, said the rooster. And dawn's the right time for me to have breakfast. So that sounds just fine. The hens gave a cheer. At last there was calm, as rooster and owl returned to the farm. Now for an hour, as their day starts and ends, the owl and the rooster share food as best friends. <laughs>